Welcome to the podcast where we discuss health, health span, lifespan, and longevity. I'm Dr. Noor Gajraj. Let's talk about the serious disease of addiction, which is poorly understood by most people. Rather than use the words addiction or addict, which carry a lot of stigma, the preferred term now is substance use disorder. What addiction is not? It is not bad people who choose to use drugs. They are usually good people with a bad disease. They are not criminals who lack willpower. Drug overdose deaths remain alarmingly high. In 2022, nearly 108,000 people died from drug overdoses. A significant majority of these deaths involved opioids, most notably fentanyl. Addiction is a deadly biological disease of the brain with a strong genetic component. It is characterized by compulsive drug use, obsession, cravings, loss of control over drug use, and continued use despite negative consequences. Addiction can have a devastating impact on every aspect of an individual's life, including their health, relationships, career, and legal problems. Addiction has multiple effects on different parts of the brain involved in executive function, impulse control, pleasure and reward, motivation, learning, and memory. The pleasure reward pathway is hijacked by drug use. Activation of the pleasure reward pathway leads to a marked increase in dopamine. The pleasure reward pathway is designed to motivate behaviors such as eating and sexual behavior. However, once the pathway is hijacked by opioids, drug use becomes the most important activity. Another important area is the prefrontal cortex. This is involved in impulse control, planning, decision making, working memory, problem solving, attention, and cognitive control. Risk factors for addiction include the following. Number one, genetic predisposition. Two, environmental factors, such as early exposure, peer pressure, easy access to drugs of abuse, trauma, and adverse childhood experiences, poverty, and socioeconomic disadvantage, with limited access to resources and support systems. And thirdly, psychological factors mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, or PTSD. Young people are generally more vulnerable to addiction. The brain has a remarkable ability to change and adapt, a process called neuroplasticity. Addiction disrupts normal brain function and recovery involves brain rewiring. This can take time, sometimes several years. Risk factors for relapse include environmental triggers, exposure to cues, such as places, people, or things associated with past substance use can trigger intense cravings. Also, stressful situations, social pressure, availability of substances, mental health disorders, lack of coping skills, low self-esteem, and social isolation. So now you have a better understanding of a complex and potentially deadly biological disease of the brain.